If you're looking for a great science resource, The Way Things Work by David McCauley is a must. Today I'm going to share about this resource in my homeschool resource series where I do just a short video highlighting one resource that we are enjoying in our school room. Now, if you watched last year's videos, you may have heard me talk about this because we fell in love with this book. I I picked it up on a whim. Um, I heard people say it was good, but I thought, oh, whatever. I found it used for under $15, so I'm oh, okay, that'll, that'll work. We did physics last year, so I thought it would be a great resource. I had no idea how great of a resource it was going to be. My husband, when I got this in the mail, his eyes lit up and his eyes don't light up about books or about many things. I mean, he's not an outwardly emotional person. He was so excited. He picked it up and he was looking through it. He had the original version of this when he was young. And I was just talking to a couple friends yesterday who were engineers as well. My husband was an, is an engineer. Um, and they all talked about this book, about how wonderful they loved it when they were kids. So, especially if you have kids who are very science-minded, this book is a must. It, I love the way it's laid out. So it starts with like in each section, a very basic topic. For example, the inclined plane. And through it, there's this whole story about this mammoth to tell you how an inclined plane works, basically. And then they go into examples of it. So it starts out with locks and keys, can openers, the plow, zippers, and then there's like levers. And when they go into the different types of leathers, um, the weights, like a, a scale, um, grand piano, hydraulic platforms, hydroelectric turbines. I mean, things that you <laughs> never, at least I would never think to one really wonder about how it's how it works. Um, in the floating chapter, they start with floating, and then they go into different types of boats, getting more complex, and they go into hot air balloons and airplanes, and it's it is so good. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about it. It is really, really good. It's very understandable. I do not have a physics mind. I, there's a lot about science I can understand easily. Physics is much more difficult for me. This book, I mean, I learned, I learned so much from it. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I didn't know about how things work until I read this. Um, but we read it as a read aloud and we just read a chapter or two a week. So the main topics of it are the mechanics of movement, harnessing the elements, working with waves, electricity and automation, the digital domain, and the invention of machines. There is an, like I said, this one I bought used on Amazon for under 15. They came out with a new one in, let's see, like a year, a year ago, I think it was, I mean, a year and a half ago, um, that is more like 25. So. I mean, I found this one quite fine, but if you want the updated version, new 25. This one, I bought it used. I don't think I said that. Anyway, I think this is a great resource for any science, but especially if you have a child who is um, engineering minded or you're studying physics, this is a must have. He has a whole variety of books that he's written that are engineering minded type of books. Um, there's one about how the pyramids were made and great for history too. We read the Egyptian pyramid one as part of our ancient history this year. There's a um, carousel one, there's castles, cities, there's a whole variety. This is just the one I am previewing today. So I will have this linked below. Um, so the Amazon link so definitely go check it out and check out all the rest of his books as well and be sure to check out the other books or the other resources in my homeschool resource playlist and thanks for watching